Hello, Al Collins from Ultimation. Today I'd like to share with you the attachment that we've made for our sander called the repeater. And as the name implies, it's uh, an attachment or an accessory easily added on to the sander, allows you to reproduce any part you've made over and over again with the exact same accuracy. There is an excellent video on uh, our website that shows exactly how to install the repeater and how to, uh, to tune it up. To um, demonstrate the repeater today, I'm gonna use my Hunterline Snowshed Kit once again. I have always liked this for demonstration purposes. It has 380 plus angles in it. Some of the pieces of wood have three angles. Um, some are compound angles. And without a method of accurately being able to reproduce these, uh, the kit would not go together nearly as well um, as if you had that accuracy. And it then makes it a beautiful kit. So um, the first thing I like to do <coughs> uh, in anything like this, a trestle or a, or a bent or a snow shed, is make a very sturdy template or jig and get all the verticals in at exactly perpendicular 90 degrees, or any horizontals um, in place. That way, if you are reproducing uh, any pieces or angles that are supposed to be the same on both sides, if you have a parallel square base to work to, then it, uh, it will work out fine. I'm gonna work on these diagonal braces here. Uh, there's a finished one that, that sits in like so. There's 44 of these on that kit. And once we've made one perfect sample, we can make another 43 perfect pieces. To start making the, the initial, the sample, we have to establish an angle. We'll do that first, high school, junior high school, um, math kit, protractor, plastic protractor, and we will get that angle, and it looks like 37 degrees. Once we've established that, we're gonna write it down. I've already done it on there, but to get a good idea of how to do this, I would start sneaking up on it a little. We'll go back to 34 degrees. All you need is a very short piece of wood at this point, because all we're doing is establishing an angle. We put that in, and we can see that that angle is uh, not quite right. It's a little open on the heel. We need to take some off the toe, so we're gonna sharpen the angle up. So let's go back to our original 37 degrees. Um, and maybe it's right. If you notice when I'm sanding, uh, once you've got to where you want, if you just back up a half a turn, a turn, That'll get rid of the majority of the fuzz, which is inherent to a, a disc sander. And if there's any left, my second favorite tool, my trusty scalpel, you can just clean up that last little bit of fuzz. So we can now put that in and it's a perfect angle. The next step would be to take rough cut, and I just cut these on a chopper, um, some pieces that are a little bit extra in length. Uh, you don't want to make them too long. You'll be sanding all afternoon. Um, and we want to put that angle on one end. So we can go ahead. And put that angle on all the pieces, all the 44, make a couple extra if you like. And again, Good idea to put a little X on the finished end so we don't end up inadvertently working with it when we shouldn't. We now need to establish a length. We can insert this back in and we can see here that we're just, well, pretty close, but we're about a sixteenth of an inch off. So we can now Put that back in the repeater 
And now this is where the repeater comes into its own. We bring the carriage up tight to that piece of wood and we decided we wanted to take about a sixteenth of an inch off. So we preload the carriage with that sixteenth of an inch gap. Whatever is between this thimble and the sliding block here is what we're going to remove. So we now sand until it stops sanding or till the thimble bottoms out on that block, preventing it from going anymore. Back a couple of times and we're just a little bit long so we can take a bit more off. So now, for argument's sake, uh, let's say we want to take about 20 thousandths of an inch off. It's, it's pretty finicky, pretty pernickety, but it shows you how accurate this, this can be. This thimble is graduated in one degree increments. So I'm going to take 20 thousandths off that. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20. Now I sand. So it won't sand anymore. We are very, very close. You can open up that gap a little bit more or you can simply put that in and with a little bit of pressure on it and take a few thousands off the end using that uh, rubber disc in there. Remember the blister on my thumb? Like that. That's all you need. The hard part's done. We take that, we mark it. Um, I got one here I wrote on sample so you don't get confused. There's the sample. Now we put it back in the machine just to make sure the machine is set properly then we can continue to make numerous pieces. Now we can take any one of these diagonal braces and we find they're all exactly the same. Now you can go ahead and make 44 or 144 or if you want to build a trestle halfway across the basement you can do 1,044. Very quick, machine is set. Um, and they can be done in no time. The last step um, on this particular one is you can see there's little cleats that support those cross braces. So if we wanted to put that cleat on 90 degrees minus the angle we already have leaves 53 degrees. That's the reciprocal angle if you like. We set the repeater at 53 degrees. This can be done by hand. We don't need to uh, do a little bit. And now we need, we make that little cleat. So this cleat is a bit long. One of the Wait a minute, here it is. Still a bit long. Anyway, there's a 90 degree default um, built into this sander. So if in this case we just wanted to trim up 90 degree on the end of something, we can do it there. And there we are. Perfect job. This can now be set back up in the in the repeater, we want that there. We slide that to there and we can go through and put that, put that angle on all 44 pieces. Perfectly square, perfectly accurate, fits every time. There's uh, numerous things you can do with this little attachment. You can do small pieces. Um, these are like 
braces for timbers. Smaller, tiny pieces. These are cross bracing for um, a narrow gauge box car. Simply by rotating every flat, you can nice, nice straight point, even a nice chamfer. Um, the beauty is that it's accurate within half a degree, a couple thousandths of an inch, and it's repeatable accuracy. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I think maybe next time I'll actually build a friend of mine building a big trestle. So I'm giving him a hand. I think I might get his jig and we'll just go through actually building uh, a trestle. So thanks again and uh, stay tuned.